Maria Locascio, and I am Vice President with Young Latino Professionals, and I am also an International Financial Planner with Creative Planning. You know, I feel like I don't detach from my Latinidad. It's something that I, I it's my identity. It's who I am. Uh, and we can't hide from that, you know? It's, it's, it's how we look, it's sometimes how we act. It's sometimes English is our second language. So sometimes accents come out or we don't know how to pronounce words. So it's something that I've learned that I'm, that I'm not gonna push away or hide. Soy yo, mi Latinidad es soy yo. So I'm really, I'm really proud of it. I'm not going to get away from it. And it's 100% todo el tiempo. Yo soy de El Salvador. So of course, son las pupusas. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get to learn how to make pupusas because uh, by the time that I came to the U.S., I didn't get the chance to learn from my grandma. And uh, my mom kind of got away from it too, so she didn't learn how to make them. But we, every time I eat them, at all the any of the restaurants in Kansas City, I, I feel like it's home. I feel like I'm at my grandma's house eating them. Uh, and another dish, uh, I'm not sure if other uh, cultures have them, but in El Salvador we have ojuelas. I think they're typically made uh, during Christmas time, and they're they're literally just like a giant chip with um, some miel on top of them and you just crack them and eat them. Uh, I haven't had them in ages and I just asked my mom the other day um, when can I fly back home to hang out with them and when my grandma isn't busy so she can like show me the recipe and teach me how to make them. <laughs> yeah. I have a quote that's kind of cheesy but it's like it's my favorite quote. I, I always tell it to people uh, and it goes, it goes like this, in a world full of Cheerios, be a Fruit Loop. <laughs> and I, I think that's important. It's something that I live by. Uh, you don't have to live by anybody's standards but your own. And what's important is that you're happy, that you should be happy, you know? And, and with Latinos, you have those that have lost their Spanish when they came here. You know, like me, like I've forgotten, I can speak Spanish, but I forget a lot of words um, and that's, Sometimes it is kind of, like I get I ashamed of myself for, for forgetting, but also like we can't be hard on each other as, as Latinos because there's so many different layers to us. So it's it's important to be kind with, with all of us and just, just be nice. There's so much, there's so many layers to us. You know, for example, we have immigrants, right? We have, first gen, second gen, third gen. Uh, we have people who literally just got here. Uh, we have Chicanos down south, right? Uh, and we have Bariquas, where we have like the Puerto Ricans, the Los Cubanos. We have every, we have so many different layers of Latinos that I don't, it's, it's not important to fit one mold, you know? And if, and if somebody is being told that they don't fit that, you know, that's okay. You don't, you don't, you're not out here in this world to prove anything but to be your authentic self. 